Hold on guys for a sec, don't skip this Battlefield 2042 settings video. I'm going to show you how you can fix your aiming and sensitivity bug. You will get more FPS and overall you get a better aim in BF 2042. So let's jump right into it. 3, 2, 1, dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, let's go with another Battlefield 2042 video, I am very hyped, I have so much ideas in my head, we are playing a lot of Battlefield and we have so much stuff, so that's why I want to make this one as short as possible and I want to start right now with some settings, because Battlefield 2042 is, yeah, let's be honest, it feels kinda an early alpha, early beta gameplay, whatever, you know what I mean, it's not done, it's not finished, it's not polished over, but I like Battlefield. Don't get me wrong, Battlefield is a good game, so that's why I want to help you guys to enjoy Battlefield. I want to have you, that you have a lot of fun. I know we Germans are not, uh, don't have any sense of humor, but I try to be as focused as possible, as straight as possible. Uh, don't get me wrong, guys, but let's start into it. First of all, open your settings in your documents you have the belfi 2042 settings folder and open up the pro safe profile not the pro safe the pro safe profile that's very important and you can open it with a simple editor wordpad whatever and let's get started first of all you have to change the Make sure that your mouse raw input is on one you can change some of these settings in battlefield as well but not every setting so that's why you have to um, check out the sensitivity for example the scheme sensitivity i tried it with one and zero sometimes it can fix if you have some stutterish stuff if you zoom in you can fix it by turning this one over here to zero instead of one but very important for you guys is that you change a lot of settings if you scroll completely down for example motion blur motion blur on zero even i had motion blur turned on zero in battlefield i had it activated over here so just be sure make it safe and change it on top of that we have the resolution hertz make sure it's on 144 or the highest possible which uh, from your monitors stats or from your monitor wise for me it's 144 and you also have the refresh rate so you can press ctrl and f to find the refresh rate we have the dsr refresh rate which is not interesting for us but the full screen refresh rate also 144 then shadows also very important there we go shadow quality and turn it on zero it's even if you have it in battlefield deactivated or very low it's on two in your settings so be aware change it down to zero this will boost your fps a lot and we have the weapon depth of field turn it also on zero then make sure to check dx12 enabled on one i will show you some very important stuff in battlefield during the console and dlss enabled if you have an rtx graphics card but again i will show you some settings in battlefield as well so after that jump in battlefield and go to your options let's start with the display of course full screen monitor it really depends on which monitor you want to play for me it's my fully full hd 144 hertz monitor for my field of view i changed from 90 to 85 this is a good sweet spot but you can let's say change it how you like it I think from 85 to 95 it's the best, but with 85 I'm pretty much good to go. Your ADS field of view, make sure it's activated because this relates to your custom um, field of view. For me it's again 85, so make sure it's on, otherwise it will um, take the default settings. Again, very important motion blur on zero. I did this, but it's also very important that you do this in your in your settings in your document files then all this chromatic film grain vignette lens distortion of course off i i tried with my graphic preset on medium and high and with some better settings but i think this right here is all the sweet spot for performance and a little bit of graphics quality texture quality of course you can turn it 
way 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 lower medium is okay like texture filtering as well lightning quality and effects quality i don't need that so that's why it's on low my post process and mesh quality is also medium terrain quality and undergrowth quality for me very important to put this one on low because i don't want to have unnecessary stuff going on in my in my surroundings entalizing post processing of course you can turn this one as well a little bit lower it really depends how much performance you need uh, and or how good your game should look like so for me high is is a good uh, spot then for your deals as i think balanced is great because it's again a nice sweet spot between performance and your optics, of course, you can put it on auto or ultra performance and performance balance worked fine, but you have to play with it. You have to play with the DSL DLSS settings because Battlefield, it really depends on your personal um, rig. Let's continue. I have my low um, latency reflex should be enabled and boost. Future frame rendering is offline because you don't want to have some false frames from rendering whatever. You want to have the true frames, the true actual visuals. So that's why also vertical sync, of course, it's deactivated. For your general HUD, very important turn off camera shake amount to or turn it to 50 and the HUD motion. It's also very important to turn this one offline. Then you could play around with some colorblind settings, but I want to show you only the very important stuff. To improve your aim, uh, crosshair opacity, I have it on 100% and choose any bright color for your crosshair color. If you change the color, it can be that you have a bug that this one is on black. So your crosshair is on black after you changed it, but it's just a bug. You have to try it several times if it's not working uh, straight away. Then, of course, you can play around with the hit color. For me, it's, some, it's a bright color green. Um, you can turn on red, blue, whatever. And I like it to have 100% to see my hits. But again, uh, play, a, play a little bit around. Then you should go to the mouse and keyboard settings on foot. Very, very important. My soldier mouse sensitivity is a personal thing. P feel of you as well. But what you should check is a little bit further down. It's the vertical aim ratio and the vertical zoom ratio. Put it on 100. Uh, same as everything you can see over here. And I want to mention some controller settings. I'm not a big controller guy, but I have some friends who told me this. Very important. Soldier aim assist and soldier aim assist zoom snap. Turn that off. So zero. And you have some settings as well. The soldier zoom aim sensitivity 100. And let me... I think this one should be on, on 100 as well and everything else on 100. So this should work to fix your uh, aim and sensitivity bug. And uh, with these kind of settings, you get more FPS, better aim, of course, good hut, let's say crosshair and everything important you need. So one more thing, press circonflex to open up the console and you can you have it over here, render.forcedx11 and you, you, you try to get it like render.forcedx11 and you turn it on false. So after that, restart your, um, your battlefield again and with your console settings you have dx12 enabled if you can use it of course. Um, try it out to get the X12, direct X12 enabled and try it out to fix or to get some more, some more FPS if you use direct X, the X12. It really helps for especially um, 30 series and of course 20 series as well, but you have to try it out for yourself. I hope this video is helpful. Oh, hope, but as always, I'm very interested about your opinion. Do you have some tips and tricks to fix your FPS, increase your FPS or aim? Write in the comments below as always. And don't forget, we Germans want to win something. That's why your like is so important for this video. And see you in the next one. Bye.